this guy is so important to them. And I think that the, the team feeds off him, too. Yeah. His ability to get on base and the way he plays. He plays the game the right way. He does everything right. And I think that what we saw in the second half is probably what we're going to get. So I think I know the answer to this based on your response, but I'll ask Jack this, too. How important is it for a team, especially the Yankees, to have a guy like D.J. LeMahieu? Because we've kicked around some fun ideas for lineups and who would bat lead off for them. To have a LeMahieu in that leadoff spot 130, 35 times a season. Well, listen, Michael mentioned the numbers from the second half. We're talking about a guy who had a 380 on base percentage in the second half. You want someone who can get on base ahead of Soto, whose career OBP is over 400. And you want these guys on base for Judge, who holds the American League record for home runs. So absolutely, even Judge at his charity dinner recently, I mean, he said it playfully, but he said to Aaron Boone, keep it DJ, Soto, and me. That would be a dream for Aaron Aaron Boone, if he had the ability to just line those players off one, two, and three. He's talked about Verdugo, Torres, and Volpe as leadoff options, and that's fine because you need to have other options. Best case scenario for the Yankees, Bob, is what you just said. DJ leads off and he stays there all year. And we're talking about his offense, so that's that's paramount. They need him at third base. If he's not your third baseman, who is? Who is? I mean, at this point, they'd have to have one of the kids there. Do, do their, you know, batting average and their hitting skills, is that the profile you want as a corner infielder? DJ LeMay who fills both of those roles. So if he's not ready to go and he's not the player that he was in the past, then they have some issues because they have to fill that hole at third.